we are living in an awful world for the moment, with shrinking spaces. We are living in a period where we have war, where we have oppression, where we have destruction, where we have uh, terrorist attacks, and it's really very frightening. Freedom is the highest good we can have. And with freedom, of course, comes along responsibility. Freedom, tolerance, equity, and access to justice lie at the core of our work. Our work seamlessly aligns with the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. We believe that everyone deserves dignity, respect, and the freedom to live their authentic lives. The podcast has also allowed us to be able not only to speak within a local context, but that regionally, cross-regionally, as well as pan-African and how all of these common threads speak to the global message. And access to education is one of the human rights in the um, Universal Declaration of uh, Human Rights. So being part of an initiative like that has made me extremely proud and the fact that we were able to put out the stories of young people, young girls who would normally be silenced. As a project I would like to highlight focuses on promotion and protection of human rights, particularly the rights of indigenous peoples of Ukraine. Accent of Thailand is very proud of our microsite on international convenience on civil and political rights. So people who come to the microsite can either test the understanding about ICCPR or learn about it even more. With the Foundation School Rights Academy in Turkey, we have played a crucial role empowering communities and individuals. The festival promotes the value of freedom and addresses taboo topics in the Moldovan society. Women in sustainable entrepreneurship are wise as we've come to know it. Through this project, we aim to strengthen individual rights of marginalized groups through economic empowerment. I'm very proud of this project because we reached over a thousand women and equipped them with entrepreneurial skills. For me, various freedoms around media, press freedom, the right to self and the body, how also access to justice is a very important thing. Through this project, 400 women teens have been trained in three years. I'm happy to say this has changed the way our young women operate in the world's world. In a nutshell, being free means you have the right to express who you are. We need human rights as an international legal framework, not only to protect human rights, but also to establish a system of peace and justice. All human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. Defending human rights is our responsibility. Today, more than ever, 